Well, I love coffee time, friends. It's coffee time. It's supper time. It's cold. Mama's about to freeze to death today. Mama, tell my back. I stayed covered up all day. These are just some chicken legs. We're going to make this quick and easy tonight. You know, you're always worried about the, t the uh, electricity. We don't want to really invest a lot of time in cooking nothing. We didn't make the soup today because, well, the beef stew was a lot, and there's some of it left, and Mama said, it didn't settle the best with her, even though we went early last night. And she said, I don't think I'm in the mood for soup tonight. And she ain't crazy about legs, but she'll eat them if, if we put them off the bone for her. So that's just black pepper. This is in the micro pro grill. And I'm just putting a dash dash of salt for flavor. And I'm gonna put, of course, a little bit of y'all's ranch. Right on top of these. Ranch is a wonderful dressing. It's a better seasoning. Right on top of there. And of course, I have to put my favorite, y'all, Southern Secret. Uh, it's going on there as well. And this is going into the microwave for about, probably, we're going to put in there for 20 minutes and check it. And, uh, We'll let you know. And then we'll put barbecue sauce on. We're going to have barbecue legs and uh, cheesy, delicious potatoes. Now, these potatoes, if you want a recipe for them, then start out with some mashed potatoes is what I'm going to tell you because that's how I'm starting mine. But you can do these from fresh. So just peel your potatoes, dice them, boil them to their fork tender, Drain all your water off, and you can start from there with the same process. If you're doing that process, you might want to put a little cream in them, a little butter, salt, and pepper. But I've already got to that. This is the reason it looks that shape is that's the shape of the Tupperware bowl we stored it in. And I literally just clumped it in there to let y'all know I'm using leftover potatoes. To these leftover potatoes, this is just sour cream. And I'm gonna put about a half a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna mix it up good. And I'm gonna put me about a half a cup in here. Right there. This is just gonna add some smoothness to them. I'm not the biggest fan of leftover mashed potatoes, but when you upscale them, do a little something, something to them, I'm all right with them. I like them pretty good. Gonna put about a half a cup of cheddar cheese in there. And I'm using this based on the amount I have, which is about a quart. Well, maybe a pint of mashed potatoes left over. I don't know what that vessel, what that container holds. Basically, what I'm gonna tell you to is take whatever mashed potatoes you have, add cheese and sour cream to you think they look right. But I've made these before and I know about what. Then I'm gonna put the Southern Secret, because what Southern Secret y'all's brand is, is your onion and your garlic. So that's what I'm adding in here, basis, onion, garlic, and a tinge of lemon seasoning. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this ranch seasoning, and just a dash dash of that, about a teaspoon of the ranch. So these are cheesy ranch potatoes. But you don't wanna overpower it, it's just about a, a, um, about a teaspoon of that ranch. And now these potatoes are soft and See, they're not big, clumpy, hard ones. So they were, I put plenty of good um, cream in them, butter in them and stuff when I made them the first time. So these are gonna mix right up. Now basically, all we're gonna have to do to these is heat them. Now I can look at that and tell you, don't bless you mama. Okay. I'm gonna put another little bit of cheddar, freshly grated out of this bag. And they're gonna be cheesy, potatoes, cheesy ranch potatoes. And I'm gonna stir that in. Now all I'm really gonna do to these is I'm gonna get them warm. They're not gonna taste like leftover mashed potatoes. It's gonna be a totally new thing for tonight. Not gonna put them on the heat right now. I'm gonna set them over here. I just wanted to show you all that they're stirred up. And what I'm gonna do, once mama turn you microwave on. Say it and forget it, but you can turn it on first. And so the chicken will be cooked. 
in the microproprio. If you don't have a microproprio yet, go ahead and get you one. But if you don't have one, put these in the oven or put them in a skillet or boil them, whatever you want to do to them. You can boil them and they're pretty good as long as you season your, excuse me, season your water. So if I was going to boil them, I would put butter in them. I would put salt and pepper in them. In a smaller kettle, I wouldn't have a big old stock pot. And I'd boil them down, get them good and done, lay them out on a pan, put them, put my barbecue sauce over them then, salt and pepper, and bake them in the oven for about 25 minutes once they were boiled. If I wanted to start out from raw chicken, I would put them in a pan, I'd bake them for about 40 minutes, because them legs are pretty thick. And then I would take them out in the last 15 minutes, I'd put my barbecue sauce, any extra season I wanted to, put them back in there uncovered, and let that barbecue sauce just adhere to them so pretty. If you're gonna boil them, power boil them, get all that, once the legs are done, put them in your pan, put your barbecue sauce on them, your season, put them in your oven, let them bake for about 15 more minutes, and that'll get you the same consistency. If you're gonna do what we're doing, I'm putting them there for 20 minutes and we'll see what they look like. If they need a little bit more time, I'll put them back in there and I'm gonna do the same thing. Put my barbecue sauce on there, put them back in there and let them cook. But those cheesy potatoes, I make them all the time with mashed potatoes. Cause I'm not a fan of just heating up mashed potatoes. We're gonna have the leftover peanut beans, the leftover mashed potatoes turned into cheesy potatoes, barbecue, chicken legs. It's going to be good, y'all. We've even got some of them handy-dandy rolls left sitting here on the counter. We've even got cornbread left. So we've got all the avenues covered tonight. But I've not even spoken to y'all about, well, for one thing, about these lights of Lincoln. Mama, I don't know what's wrong with the lights. Ever since we got snow, the lights are blinking. Now, we did get a thing from TVA that they're cutting back and doing something. This could be a part of the cutback. But you see that flicker? That's not me. That's the lights. Mm -hmm. Mama, tell me what you went and did. Oh, all I did is peel some apples and put them Oh, but Mama, you did more than that. You put butter on them. And you put cinnamon sugar. Y'all cinnamon sugar. And now she's gonna make a topping for them. They're in the oven. And we're gonna have those on a mode. I don't have vanilla ice cream here on hand, but ready. We can make some out of the yard. Oh, I, my mommy never would let us eat the first snow. Cause it's full of radiation and yeah. chemicals. Uh, that's a cup of oatmeal. A okay. cup of oatmeal. And then what do you make it? I'm just gonna sprinkle this on top of my. Can y'all hear mama? The apples. She's gonna sprinkle that and make it crumble with brown sugar and oatmeal. <laughs> and what else? And some butter and cinnamon sugar. Butter and cinnamon sugar. And I'm using the brown sugar. Brown sugar scoop. I don't know about about a half, half a cup. cup. And here's your sugar and your cinnamon. Now she already put this on the apples. Here's a spoon. Mix this and then I'm going to dab with some butter in it. For that cinnamon. So this is a, 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 how much a cup of oatmeal? Yeah. Half a cup of brown sugar, and how much cinnamon? A teaspoon? Yeah, I guess I just sprinkle and cover the top. A teaspoon of cinnamon sugar blend from y'all's. If you're going to use it separately, use a half a teaspoon of sugar and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon should be about equivalent, or to taste whatever you feel like doing. What do you do with that? I'm going to sprinkle this on top of my apples and then I'm going to dab me some butter on top of it. You don't put the butter in there? 
Well, I was going to, but it's a little lumpied up, and I'm afraid I won't get it spread even on my apples. Mm, I see. Now, this make a crumb on top? I hope it will. I don't have a recipe for this. <laughs> This is your just making up? Yeah, making up. It's a good All right, so let's go over this made-up dish of hers. She's made it up before, though. So she just peeled apples, red apples, and uh, quartered them up or diced them up into little pieces, baked them, and when they got almost baked, did you put butter on them already? Yeah, I put butter and brown sugar. Butter and brown sugar over the apples. She's letting them bake in a Pyrex pan or something. Yeah. Then this mixture was a cup of oats, and this is the quick one minute oats. Can y'all see that? And she put a cup of oats, a half a cup of brown sugar, and then she used y'all's and just sprinkled cinnamon sugar. See this beauty? She sprinkled just cinnamon sugar over here, probably about a half, about a teaspoon. So if you don't have that blended up already, just sprinkle you about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, about a half a teaspoon of sugar. These apples are in butter and their own juices and cinnamon and sugar. That's what they've got. Then she's just going to put this over top. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll just sprinkle this over top. Just sprinkle, sprinkle. And chickens are chopping. And we'll pile up some in the middle. You got some under your spoon. Well, look at that. It hit out there. Mm -hmm. And then that's hot, Mom. Mm -hmm. And now just make sure everybody, everybody gets a little bite of this oatmeal. And everybody gets covered up good. Just like this. Y'all, yeah. This is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Nice, nice, and butter and real thin. And it'll melt and do its thing. It'll be wonderful. And this is going to be about three tablespoons of butter, right? Yeah. Well, I three tablespoons of butter and just pat it out. And it will kind of take over. And Mama, what do you call this? Apple crisp or apple crunch? Or? I really don't know. Mama's apple want, crunch would be good. Rid of the, some apples that I We've had it before like this. She even made it one time with peaches like this. I remember. I think that's enough. And uh, so about two and a half tablespoons padded out all across there. It'll go back in the oven. And that's going to be delicious for a cold winter's day. Now, it got up to a whopping hot. Woo! 17. Yeah. 17. Um, it's been a little cray-cray. And we have had 17 whole degrees today. It's back down to 14. Supposed to be a little sunshine tomorrow, but it's just been crazy. We had about here, I think, we had six inches, five to six inches of snow. But everything that melted today definitely froze back. And the only reason it melted is because the sun shone directly on it. It sure didn't get warm enough to melt. Uh, she eats in moderation. She does. So I'm talking about the sugar. Mama's a diabetic, but she says she ain't giving it all up. She does, her sugar's fine. Her blood pressure's been great. Uh, hers is in a controlled state right now. And she does take it in moderation. And if you're a diabetic, you know what I'm talking about. You gotta live. And uh, she'll eat a one little bite of it tonight. And she might eat a bite tomorrow. And we might give it to somebody. But we don't overindulge in it. Mom, I'm gonna check that chicken at 10. I smell something cooking. I'll be that chicken that was a popping out of cracking. Smells good. It smells like it might be done. What if you can do chicken legs in 10 minutes in that thing? We ain't oh, never met you. I don't think you do that old fat chicken legs you had. 
Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think they might be done. No, Maybe. They are in the no, they don't. Look at over here. here. You want that? Oh, am I? Flip them over. You have to click these twice so they don't even work. I'll bet you. They're browning. Come up. You know, into the meat <laughs> that's went down now. Do you think it needs some more spices on this side now? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I think I will get on it because it's all in the pan. And it'll make juices in a minute. Should we put a little drop of water in it? I don't think so. It's going to make juices when it cooks more. Why don't you temp it and see where it is on the bone? It could be about done. It could be now. Ten minutes don't seem like quite long enough. I don't think it's near done next to the bone. But does 20 minutes seem like too long now that we're looking at it? Mm -hmm. Let's just see what we're going down in here. Not near done. I can't tell you that. Oh, I don't think so too. 144. Hundred twenty-one. See, I have to go back in. Hundred twenty-three. Time to go back. Time to go back, Mama said. Don't even talk about it no more. It ain't done. Um, you might want to put a little water in. You gonna put a little water? Yeah, we don't, we don't put any oil, no nothing. It'll uh, make it home. Mama said it's gonna make it home. Mama said gonna have to make it on. She ain't gonna have it. We don't normally put water or anything, anything, or oil. So that was zero oil. No oil of any kind. So it's just as healthy as it can be. And uh, all I had on it was salt, pepper, and a little bit of Southern Secret, a little bit of ranch. You can move down spices So this is the spices that we've used tonight. If you are interested in these spices, head on over to y'all's brand. Use the code J-O-H-N, capital letters, when you get ready to check out on the coupon code. They're going to give you 10% whether you order a t-shirt, whether you order any product they have. Tea, coffee, uh, they give you 10% off of it. Just because you put capital J-O-H-N on it. John, as in coffee time, John the mom. I bought the grill last year. I love it. Linda, it is wonderful and it saves time. I tell people all the time, you're buying a wonderful cooking product. But more than that, if I was only going to recommend it for anything, it would be for time. We can cook meatloaf from beginning to end in 20 minutes of eating. True story. We did this last week. We cook pork chops in it. We cook chicken breast. I've never cooked chicken legs. But that's just because I hadn't had chicken legs since. Um, anything you want to speed up, but yet you want to, you want that flavor of being in the oven, then the Micro Pro Grill from Tupperware is the way to go. They're not cheap. They do run them on sale. They had a sale a couple of, last month, month four last, I think. But they'll come back around on sale again. It's just one of those things, watch out for it. If I was gonna replace, if I lost all my Tupperware and I was gonna replace one item, that would be the first one I'd be looking to replace. Even before my chopper, probably. Even though I use that chopper a lot, I can chop better than I can do all this cooking in that short of time. Now you've seen those legs have been there 10 minutes and that's where they were. Another 10, they'll be done. So that's 20 minutes for chicken legs that would take an hour in the oven. And we'll put some barbecue on them. Because we've got a little time. Because we are ahead of, ahead of schedule. And we're going to put some Sweet Baby Ray's on there. I'm turning it upside down. Uh, so it'll squirt out quicker. Mama, what have you done good today? I don't know. Put up a little bit of stuff. Put it up where? 
working on the closet in my, my laundry room. Oh. Take stuff out and put stuff in there. That closet is referred to as bed, bath, and beyond. When we first built that, it's a walk-in closet. It's in her laundry room. I went in there one day and it was full of towels and bed linens and sheets in perfect order. And I said, whoa, mom, this is like going into bed, bath, and beyond or somewhere. And she thought that was funny, so we referred to it as bed, bath, and beyond. But the beyond took over. Yeah, but beyond has really took over. The bed and the bath is still present, but the beyond is way over too much. As in new cushions for outdoor furniture was put in there. What else have you you I, I mean, last time I picked last time I picked in there it was more like yard sale beyond. <laughs> I've got dishes and everything. Why is it that we do that? We'll have closet space and we'll clean our closets every year. And then... Habit of just sticking stuff in there out of the way. That's bad. It'll get overtaken. Closets... And I've got more Christmas stuff. I don't have to that I don't want to put in the basement, that I want to keep up Right. Now, we are not affiliated with the real bed bath from you know, That was just our bed, linens, our bath stuff, and everything else. And it looked, it looked so pretty when she first had it. Yeah, it did. It looked good once upon a time, I'll say. It's kind of like me, Mama. When you first had me, and then I guess got out of hand, too. I got beyond, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. So, Mama, what are you eating tonight out of all this? Do I need? Do we need to get you some chicken tenders going? No, there's some balloons that go on. What was that for? I think something creates balloons that we do. Does something do balloons? <laughs> I think you're wrong. See, I've done that, I yeah. think. And this gives you fireworks, I think. Sometimes. It's not for that. I can't do it right. And then I just look goofy sitting here doing all this stuff. <laughs> Everybody else does it all the time. I see them. Now this light. Our lights didn't do this before the snow. You all been here. So I don't know if it's just a, so cold. Might be the way that the snow on our lines or something. I think there could be a little something. It's just giving a little... Hang in lots, we need you. Good evening, Debbie. How are you? Donna says you I'll get any more snow. We have about eight inches of snow. Now Donna, I'm making up this in my mind. I'm making my, I don't have anything I've not heard. It looked to me like this morning we definitely got more snow or wind or something because all of Abby's tracks had been covered over. And she hadn't been out there this morning when I went out. She hadn't been out playing. And um, so I knew that more snow had fallen. But I think total looks like what we got. According to what I could see out here on the furniture and stuff, it was about like that. It was probably five to six inches. Um, huh? I've not heard. I haven't heard how much we really got. But we got our whole, well, our full share. I think we were in the three to six zone. We're going to say we got every drop coming to us. And now it can go. Dear Snow, you are dismissed. Thank you for your service. Um, that's it. I'm, I'm out of snow notion. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. We'll test that chicken again. Um, a bunch of places are closed here today. I don't think I could have got out of the driveway. I've worked from home, um, and it's been a rough day just because when it's when the weather's bad and people can't get where they want to be, then there's a lot more questions than when the weather's not bad. I'll put it that way. Anyway, folks, no matter what, springs are coming. In just a few weeks. In a few weeks. We're at the middle 16th of 
January. Henny, January's got 31 days. We're over half through now. Are you heating them already? Mama's turning them taters on. Low. Low. Now, what, when you're reheating them, you get the cheese and you get your sour cream and you're going to have to watch them. You can't just turn them on like you do your regular potatoes because that stuff will stick pretty good. It'll, it'll stick pretty good. I'm drinking coffee right up to bedtime tonight because I'm tired. I slept good last night. Got up early, got ready, kind of assessed the situation. It's, it was bad. In the morning, I don't look for it to be any better. Well, I sure don't with all the cold temperatures. Mm -hmm. I don't look for it to be any better. Here's an Abby update. Abby will not come in today. Now, y'all can just thank you for those stars, Roy. I said that little thing. Thank you so much. I just said that life of us brings it coming. Dolly, it is. Abby is got a coat of hair on her thick. I don't think that she has the ability to get cold. I know I'm a pet. Don't. I love pets. I brought in other people's pets. True story. Most pets. Most dogs, cats, will come in, even if they ain't comfortable, and they'll lay down somewhere when it's cold. I've brought in strays before. In my younger days, I slipped them in after Mama went to bed and put them in my bedroom. Oh, yeah. Abby is the most... We had another dog. If I hadn't had Rusty in my life, I would be much more concerned. But we had another dog. I think he was a little shorter than Abby, but he was the same kind of dog. He hated the indoors. Now, Abby has been offered, Mama, back me up, to come in this house multiple like, times. She don't like it at all. She does not come in. Mama, that looks too good. Stuff that come out of that. Yeah, wow. Check the now. Let me finish talking about Abby just a second. I'm gonna set the lid on. She will not come in. If she she will come in and then she spins and goes right back out. And you then you can't get her back. It's like you're trying to trap her. And it's not because she's a uh, rescue. It's just she loves outside. I've been out there, I'm only giving her about a pop bottle, um, a sprite bottle. I washed out good and I put water in it. Take it out there because I don't want to freeze. So I've been out there four times, done give her water. I fed her three times already today. I'm going to feed her again tonight. I'm going to heat her some canned food tonight so she'll have a good warm belly. So I feed her a little bit all day long to keep her warm and I give her water three times and I just want to give her enough that she'll drink. Um, she's been out in the snow. She's not even trying to stay warm. I gave her a rawhide just so she could go lay down in her house and chew it. She went out late in the snow and chewed it. I think it doesn't matter no more. She'll freeze. I don't think she's cold at all. And she's in a good warm bed. And I fluff the hay. I keep it fluffed so she can keep a nest built. Doing everything I can. But she's not coming in. I don't ever think she'll be an indoor anything. Maybe when she's old and gray, she'll come in. But she ain't, she is not that kind of, of dog. Uh, I even tried to lure her into the garage. She wouldn't come into the garage. Um, and don't start saying they don't know what's good for them. They don't know what's good for them. But she is hyper, 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 isn't she, Mama? Oh, yeah, she would stand it at all. If anybody... See, this is when Mama gets tired of filming with me. Watch her. She says, I'll do this myself. Shower. That's 210. That's 
This is 195, 96, climbing 7. Mm -hmm. 95, 195, this is done, 205, 6, 7, oh, that's the hottest one in the park. That's the least one, not all this one. So what we do now. Do I need to drain that off? Nah, there ain't much in there. And it's cooked, it's good. Just put our barbecue right on top of that. I like to get a good cover. But anyhow, Abby is not your typical chihuahua or something. She's a she's got a thick fur. I don't know what her whole heritage is, but she is not an indoor. She don't like it. I've never Rusty was just like her though. Rusty never spent a night in the house either. On the coldest of nights. I remember when he was with us, we had a blizzard, and it stayed on for three days, and we were like electricity. He would come in, hang out of air, and he, now he was even better than no, her. he wouldn't even stay hard out of her. If I made him. If I held him, or if he was getting treats, but as soon as you didn't talk to him, or he was gone. Maggie's, Abby's the same way. Now, here's the thing about Maggie. Today would have been her day. She would have wanted to go out 75 times, play in that snow, come back in, big old white house shoes on her feet, and then that would have been her whole day would have spent. She'd want to sweat around. She'd want to sweat around, but she'd want to get out in that. Now we're gonna put these in an uncovered for about five minutes. Um, she would want it to have been out in that snow all day today. I don't care how cold it got. She never got tired of snow. Hated rain, but she didn't mind snow. Uh, but Abby is doing well. Doing well. I tried to get her in the seat. And I thought, if she just come in now, warm up a while, you ain't going to do it. So, as long as she's doing well and she's insisting on it, I'm okay with her. But here's the thing. She's in a house that's insulated. She's got, I even put cardboard over the outside of the house for the windbreak. I even made a windbreak in front of her house and I put another big, huge cardboard thing in front of her house. There's no wind getting into her. Uh, she has water and food all day and I put it in there last thing of the night. And as long as you keep them fed and keep their bellies warm and keep them out of the wind, She's on the porch, too, so not a snowflake has hit her house, and she's all those things. So, that's just the way sometimes they are. If she was in the wind, and, or she was cold, or she was shivering, if I'd seen her shiver, I'd probably go to, go to the basement and get the old kennel that we used to use for our German Shepherd, pull it out, and just put her in, and say, you just have to stay. You just have to come in. But as long as she's faring as well as she is, she's happy. If she wanted to, she would. Yeah, I know. Robin, I believe they know things. Um, if she was staying even in her house all day, huddled up, I'd think, well, maybe she's go. She, you can't find her. She's down at the barn. She's learned the barn now. She's got a friend. I don't know. We ain't judging. We're just saying she has a friend that, that comes by every day and they play in the yard. And um, she's just a baby. Huh. She surely ain't already turned to romance. She stays, uh, she's got two or three friends that comes by, but they don't stay and they're not in a pack and they're just sort of neighborhood dogs. One of them's a big old Pyrenees, white. And she just plays with him like he's a pup. And they play and run in this field. And then when she says bye, and they go their way and she comes on home. So she's making her own little domain. The weirdest thing, uh, thank you, Gary. Um, the weirdest thing is she's not been seen back in the front. Have you seen her? I've seen her out in the yard once or twice. Oh, did you today? No, not today. I've not really looked out much today. It was yesterday. I've seen her. 
Yeah, she moved to the front porch and there she stayed. And then when it got cold and they brought her first straw, she had straw, and they brought her first straw. When they brought that first straw and put it in her bed, within 30 minutes she moved back there. Picked a rug up. Same rug that she picked up from here and hauled around there and put it in the back. I did get rid of her rug because she had pulled the things off from it and there was little brown pieces of yarn everywhere and I was supposed to eat them. So I did throw the rug away. But she don't need it with straw. In fact, my daddy always said don't put rags or cloth or on them. They need straw. Straw keeps them warm. Rugs will get draw dampness. Quilts, blankets will draw dampness. It keeps them colder. Okay, so straw is the way to go in, in, our, in our opinion. So she has a fresh straw and I've got a whole bell of it and I'll just keep adding all I need to. But I fluff it up. If it gets matted, it don't stay as warm. So I get in there and fluff all of it up. She makes her a nest every night. She gets snuggled in it and she's warm. Um, how's your tigers, Mama? Okay. Anyway, that's the Abby story. Now, next year come winter, I may work with her through the summer and the spring, and she might be in here. Or she might come to the garage. She's been here a day after Christmas. So she's not even been here a month with us. But she's learning. And she's at home. You can tell this is her domain. Uh, she picks her places in the backyard. Oh my goodness, right here's my domain. Look at her, look at here. Looks better than all right, Mama. Let's do a flyover. I want you to see that bubble. That's beautiful, Mom. Well, I didn't have... I've got chocolate strawberry ice cream, but we'll use this. I made a bit of Ready Whip. Do you all know about Ready Whip? Not this brand. Any brand. But this is called Ready Whip. If you look at the contents on it, 15 calories, about 74 servings per container. Serving size, 2 tablespoons, 5 grams. Total fat, 1 gram. Cholesterol, less than 5 grams. Sodium, 0. Total sugars, less than 1 gram. Now, when I was a pup, I went on that diet with no carbs one time, back in the 80s, whenever it was. We always kept this in the refrigerator and put a little squirt on a spoon and use it as a sweet tooth fixer. Because it's sweet, it tastes sweet, it's delicious, but it's one gram of sugar. Zero sodium. It, this, I'm going to tell you, this is almost considered health food. You won't find a lot of food that will have that good of stuff on it and so as an as an alternative to ice cream or the stuff in the tub with the oil real cream ready whip this stuff i use it uh and i'll use the off brand too it's the stats on it are about the same so if you're going to indulge indulge in some of that if you're on keto now, back then I think it was Atkins, so everybody was crazy. But I'm not, that's, uh, that's the name of it. Mama, now you can check your temperature. Mama, we don't have to check it again. It only got hotter. Mm. 207, 208. It's done. <laughs> Talking back. You talk, left that oil out. He uh, turned off the thermometer. Ooh, we know that can happen. These are all hot. These are already 209. Ooh, we had to wait a month to eat these. 212. 
He's the one that's got so much to talk about right there. I think that's the one I know. So here's the rule on these thermometers. I always wipe them off a little bit, but I don't never close it till we wash it. So if you have, see an open thermometer, it needs washed. I'm gonna put those over there. We don't need them anymore. Now you're gonna get the chicken out. Well, it's had that not so cooked chicken on it. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, Turn everything off, Mama. How are you gonna drink? I've got coffee and I've got water. You got tea? Yeah. I'm feeling good then. We are good, Mama. Mama, I'm gonna get you one of these juicy ones. So I want a little one, like this little one right here. Cakey, cakey. Mama, I think the bigger one's gonna have more meat. I won't. I won't eat them. I don't care for that much for these. I offered to fix you tenders. I know. But you wouldn't have that, would you? No. Mm -mm. What have you eaten today? I ate leftover okra that little bit. Oh, she had leftover okra. That's what I thought. Look at our cheesy potatoes. Those are delicious, folks. Now, if you're going to fix these for company, put a little parsley on them. That little bit of sprinkle of green makes them fancy. If you're going to have them you know, for some occasion, put them in a casserole dish. You do this same kind of thing, just in a casserole dish. Put you some cheese on top, put you some breadcrumbs on top, or some cracker crumbs on top. All that works beautifully. Drain the bean. Drain the bean. And a row. And for dessert, Mama, you want to dip the dessert out and squirt it and let them see it because we'll be leaving before we get there. Looky here, folks. That's just like downtown. Barbecue chicken. Now, before y'all start saying, Mama's not starving, she will eat the chicken leg. She just don't like dark meat the best, if given the option. She likes the white meat, but she will eat that, won't you, Mama? Mm -hmm. You don't hate it. I'm not forcing you. No. She bought these legs. She brought them in here. It wasn't me. I brought you some legs, because I know you've been wanting some. I said, yes, ma'am. Oh, I think it's been open. <laughs> I shook it too. So here's what you do to this apple crunch. See how beautiful? Just put you a good size amount of that in there. That's about the size quoted here. Two tablespoons. And look at that. That's like downtown for sure. All right, Mama, let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And we just pray for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord. And we just pray for protection of all the people out in this cold, dear Lord. Those that are homeless and needy, dear Lord. Those that are working, first responders and uh, power line folks. All of them, dear Lord. We just pray official his protection around them. And watch over us, leading guide and direct us. And people that have to feel on the roads, dear Lord. We pray for them as well. In your blessed name we pray. For all those situations. And Lord, we just ask you to be with all the prayer requests, so spoken and unspoken. Be with our children, be with our world, dear Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama. I'm going for the I'm potatoes. Ready for the apples, I think. It Do you want to buy? You can have this it, bowl. This no. will be yours. <laughs> I'm going to eat some food first. I'm going to try these potatoes first, just to let mm -hmm. you know what we got into. I should have. The green, Ooh. the bean. You seen it, Mama? I tinked it. I know it, but it's hot. Let's try this chicken. 
Hmm. It is hot. Look at that. I love dark meat. I love legs. Um, I'm the one at Thanksgiving that will take the dark meat and everybody's going to have the breast. I'm fine with that. I like the other. But I just think there's so much flavor in that other meat. That's for me, Mama. It is. It just kind of on here. The chicken's delicious. Mm. That is delicious. You don't like it? Oh, yeah, I'm eating it. Oh, yeah, I'm eating it. It's off of the bone, dude. Look at that. Mama will eat it if it's cooked well and if it's got a little barbecue on it. Now, just to eat a fried chicken leg, she's probably ain't going to eat a fried one. I never did eat them when I was young. Well, I need some help with my chicken leg. It's so hot, I can't even get a bite off from it. You wouldn't eat fried ones before? Chicken legs. I never did eat them. If you barbecue them, you cook them like this. She's all right with them. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good, Mama. Yeah. You did real good. Oh, yeah. All right, folks. Mama, do you have anything you want to add tonight? No. I'm just not going to eat a whole lot of this, so I need my apples. <laughs> Mama prioritizes. I may have to stop and get mine for all my whipped top and melt. Oh, I forgot about that part. She's not got my coffee. All right, folks. Mama, do you have anything you want to add at all? No. Stay warm, stay safe. No, I ain't stuck my head out the door. Mama, I don't even want her. I said, let's get pneumonia sticking your head out. You like to stay in, don't you, Mama? Mm -hmm. How's that throw working out for you? Oh, it's wonderful. I stay warm under it. You got to know your folks. Mama, I knew they would nothing please her. About her pair of earrings <laughs> and electric throw. If I told her right now, you're going to have to give one of them back. Which one would you give back, Mama? Probably the earring. <laughs> Since I found my other one. <laughs> that wasn't the ones. I bought you the same ones for Christmas. Yeah, I bought that one. And uh, I know what she loves, that throw. And then it wasn't too expensive. It wasn't. It, well, I mean, it wasn't like earring expensive. <laughs> But Mama likes the simple things. And she likes... She just as soon have a... I don't want that bone. No, don't eat no bones. <laughs> she just as soon have a card made out of construction paper as a one from a store. Why, yeah. She'd rather have something crocheted or something like that. She loves stuff with, with heart. And I know Mama, she'd rather have a warm, comfortable throw with anything. Anybody take the time to make something, that's very special to me. It is. Mm -hmm. Folks, we're going to say goodbye. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama, and have a blessed, blessed night. Y'all have a great one, and stay safe goodbye. and warm. Bye.